Hey there, we so want to share this film with you on our channel um, for lots of reasons. Um, but first and foremost, Oscar is a great friend of both of ours. Yeah, he's brilliant. Um, he rocks. He rocks. You rock, Oscar. And what he's trying to do is deliver a really important message. Uh, and we think we've do he's done it with his usual aplomb and yeah. courage. So he needs to be applauded for that. He really does. And um, Oscar's also been working with Mark on a short film that Mark's been making. And he's proven himself to be a, a multi-talented, not only performer in front of the camera, but he's all got, got us all on our toes behind the camera, <laughs> calling shots, telling us how, quite how maybe we have we thought of this, should we do it like that? So he's a very talented, very humorous, and very warm young man. Yeah, he's also super smart. And this is, I think, a very emotional film mm. delivered in a spectacular way. Hi, my name is Oscar and I'm 11 years old. Um, there's something different about me. Hi, I'm Oscar's friend. And even though he's quite small, we can still have a lot of fun. Once we were playing hide and seek and he, he, he was hiding in a fridge. Not many people can fit in the fridge. <laughs> I'm much smaller than my mates. I'm only four foot three. Size doesn't matter. This is my best friend. I've known Oscar since we were born, and um, although he's the small one, he's always been the brave one. The average height of a boy my age is four foot ten, which is much higher than me. Hi, I'm Oscar's bro. I'm six years old. Even though we're the same height, he's stronger than me. Watch this. People are always asking me why am I so small. I love Oscar because he's so kind and he's so loving and Oscar's the best person ever. You, you need an Oscar. Maybe. Sometimes it can be really annoying, but other times I like telling people why. So what's good about me being small? Basically, uh, you're like a ninja. You're really yeah, quick yeah. and you can get in small gaps. What's good about you being small yeah. means you can go into some tiny places. Your pop and socket. basically, it's just literally awesome. He's good for football. You, 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 He's good for running. You, you, you can go into small crevices. In basketball wow. and in other games, you're you're not easy to tackle. Small's good for going under uh, like small tunnels. I just small's good. You can fit into small gaps. When you're playing hide and seek, you can hide better. When you're like in the dark and you're trying to get sneak up on someone, you can easily just scare them more. <laughs> and there's just nothing wrong with being small. I think you're fine no, as well. Alex. I'm just going to show you the medical reason of why I'm so small. These are normal human chromosomes, and um, these are all floating around in everyone's bodies, and um. My number five chromosome is not two sticks, it's only one stick, and I'll show you why in a minute. Can you see the difference? That you guys have two sticks, I only have one stick. And because it's in a ring shape, these two bits has gone off and curled round into a ring shape. And that's why I don't produce growth hormone. And that's why I have to inject myself to produce growth hormone into my body so I can grow properly. People always think that I can't reach things, but now I can. I can climb anything that you give me, and really quickly. I can climb anything. I love playing golf. I may not hit it um, no. as far as the toilet boys, but Nothing. remember this. Driving this for show. Cutting is for dirt. Yeah. I have to do this every night, an injection. And this has go formo in to help me grow. So now I'm going to do it. And that will help me grow now. I'm Warwick Davis. I'm three feet six inches tall, and one thing I've learned in life is to never let my size hold me back. And it's actually quite cool to be different, just like Oscar. May the force be with you, Oscar, and all your new friends at secondary school. Hey, Oscar, I know it's your first day at secondary school, and you were doing the incredible thing of spreading the message that it's okay to be different, because it certainly is. Everyone's different, and it's what makes us all so special. So well done, Oscar. We love you. 
Hi there, Oscar, it's Lorraine here. Now, I know that you're starting secondary school in September and it's going to be a big adventure, but it can often be quite scary as well. I just wanted to say to you and all of your classmates and everyone at the school that it's okay to be different. It's what makes us all special. Every single person on this planet is unique. We're all different, so of course it's okay to be different. Otherwise, it would be really, really weird. Hi, Oscar, it's Kate. Now, when your mum told me what you were doing, I was blown away quite literally, because everything that you're trying to land here as a message is completely right and spot on. We are all born with our own very special DNA, which means that of the billions of people in this world, nobody is the same. We are all unique. Hi Oscar, it's Matt Richardson, the comedian and TV presenter, and I want to tell you and everyone else that it's all right to be different. I was different my whole school life and everything turned out all right for me. Oscar and all your friends in assembly today, fantastic what you're doing and it's a great message. It is of course okay to be different. No one knows that more than me Oscar. <laughs> I'm about as different as it gets uh, mate. So get up there on stage, give it everything and just remember you know, you're as big as you want to be. Right? So give them everything and you'll be the biggest guy in that room. Good luck to you. Hi Oscar, uh, my name's Adam Hills. Uh, hi Assembly, uh, I'm here in front of an audience. Um, the reason I'm in front of an audience is that I host a TV show on Channel 4 called The Last Leg. And the reason I host a TV show is that I'm a little bit different. Uh, I've only got one leg and by being different it meant I got a TV show. So my point is, be nice to Oscar because he might get his own TV show. I mean, there's all the thing about, well, he's different and we should be... No, 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 he could become rich and famous and one day you will wish you were his friends. That is the main reason to be nice to Oscar. Hello, everybody at Assembly. Good morning. I bet you're looking and you're thinking, I wish Mr Holmes was our teacher. <laughs> but I am not the centre of what is going on here. If I was teacher, I would be giving a gold star to that Oscar boy. What a guy he is. Oscar, hello, darling. And we just think it's so amazing what you have decided to do. It's very difficult, we know, to do public speaking, even though we're on the yeah. TV. To stand up in front of a lot of people and talk is very difficult. And for you to talk about something so personal is extra difficult. We think you are the bravest young man that we know. I think you're doing a fantastic thing, not just for you, but for other people that, that have this condition too. It's okay okay to be different. We love you because you're so yeah. different. In fact, we love you so much, Oscar. If I could give you an Oscar, I would give you an Oscar, but you are an Oscar already, so all we can do <laughs> at Assembly is give you a round of applause. Well done. Oscar, hi. Uh, it's Philip and, uh, and Holly here. Um, hi, the minute we heard what you were doing and how brave you are and what a genius thing it is that you're doing right now. We had to get involved. We really did. And actually, we should say hello to all of Oscar's new friends at his new school. Hello, you guys. I know you're all in assembly at the moment. And actually, Oscar's message is something that we really back here on this morning, and personally, and with my own children. And that is, of course, that it is all right to be different. Have a good assembly, guys. And Oscar, well done. Yeah, well done, Oscar. I think it's pretty cool to be different, but really boring to be the same like everybody else. What do you think?